now, Nicholas Rushworth is here for a look at the French press. And the top story, Nicholas, is this interview that Francois Hollande did. It's the top story. Hello to you this Friday, Claire. Indeed, uh, the interview on Thursday evening on primetime French TV, the president, Francois Hollande, spelling out, in a way, his um, views of the state of the nation and um, policies and so on. Now, uh, the press coverage is not kind to him this morning. Um, what we've got is Libération, which is the, the left-wing paper of all things. Their headliner, you can see that, Claire, jusqu'ici tout va mal, so far, so bad. Now, the paper, after this State of the Nation interview, is saying on its front page there, roll on 2015. That's the year President Hollande is saying the French will feel the positive effect of his policies, Claire. And an editorial in the same paper is not supportive either. Not supportive at all. It's actually headlined optimist, and I thought, well, maybe sort of saying, well, we can be optimist, not at all. It's actually saying that he is an optimist addict. Um, he's being too... Um, um, wishy-washy in, in his um, performance, and that is not doing enough to address the disgruntled mood in France. It's also saying that he is um, a mis too much of a Mr. Normal to be reassuring and looks at the slump in support for him in the polls from 55% last June to at around 30% now. Now, the paper there in its coverage says it fears a deepening distrust and lack of understanding between him, the president, and the people. Of France, Claire. And of course, as we can expect, there's no kind words for Francois Hollande on the front page of Le Figaro. Le Figaro, of course, each day devotes its front page to having uh, a go at Hollande, and no surprise here. There you can see Hollande, fait du Hollande. He's just being how he is normally not delivering for the French, and it argues on its front page there that he is um, what, what a mechanic in terms of implementing his policies and not an architect. Now, the editorial of Le Figaro uh, this Friday is saying, in fact, in the um, TV performance, there was some high sign of hope. Um, it was saying, well, um, he's no longer the enemy of company bosses. That's the statement he made. But then Le Figaro um, hammers in saying, well, even that positive assertion, he actually ended up announcing that he would put an extra burden on companies um, by saying that this 75% tax, which we've heard so much about, of course, which will go on millionaires, people earning over a million uh, euros a salary, uh, companies will now have to fork out for that. And uh, so Le figure out not pleased at all, Claire. OK, and uh, Francois Hollande is also the top story on Le Parisien uh, aujourd'hui en France. Uh, they've talked to six viewers. Well, they, they always have this kind of balanced approach, well, for and against and so on. The six viewers who watch that show, we can see the, uh, there in the uh, Aujourd'hui en France, Le Parisien. And I was expecting a kind of cross-the-range board. What do we get, Claire? We get five goals to one, five against Hollande. Um, the comments uh, with the criticisms was, he's just not the right man for the job, given the situation France is in. His measures are not enough. He just wasn't convincing. Well, I thought, well, what did the, what did the favourable person say? That was a retired man in Angoulême in the southwest of France. And he said he was convinced by Francois Hollande in this TV interview um, on, in, when he was talking about jobs and the debt. But even that person had a little bit of criticism. So uh, the result for Hollande after this test, Claire, is, is, is negative. And it's all indeed rather pessimistic. But one paper went out of its way to take a more optimistic view, a more optimistic slant on this. Yes, Claire, indeed. I was really pleased by it because I got a bit fed up when I was uh, watching and listening to um, all of this. And uh, Rue 89 has this story here. Yeah, you can see, cinq raisons de rester optimiste après avoir entendu Hollande. Five reasons to feel uh, cheerful. And um, it says that they include, well, He's sticking by that pledge to roll back unemployment by year end, and he does have the measures in place. That's, that's their argument. There'll be no new taxes in 2014, yippee. Um, and also he's announced a major event for French people, perhaps the streamlining of all the paparas, all the paperwork and bureaucracy that we have to deal with in France. So small and medium-sized companies will actually you know, um, have a, a, a much, a much less of a burden in terms of paperwork. And also it argues the fact that he did not make any mention to Jean-Marc Ayrault, his prime minister, shows that, in fact, he was being presidential and no longer Mr. Normal. Claire. A little bit of positivity. It never hurts. Nicholas Rushworth, thank you very much for bringing us through today's French press.